So in 2025, uh, I would really like to see Dublin be on secure financial footing. Uh, you know, we do have a potential looming budget deficit, but I also want to ensure that we are uh, padding our budget so that uh, we are uh, setting aside some money for the next in inevitable uh, recession or economic downturn. Uh, as a city, what I would like to see is a city that works for everyone, whether you're on the east side of town or the west side of town, whether you are a young professional right out of college or you are a retiree here who needs continuity of care and uh, housing so that you can stay here in Dublin with your family. Um, so for me, it's really important that we take into consideration our entire population. I think that, as I alluded to earlier, one of the issues that we're facing right now is an imbalance in services and an imbalance in, in development. So I am all for uh, pumping the brakes and exploring ways that we can bring things back to parity. You know, one of the issues is that around our transit-oriented villages, uh, we didn't do a good job of completing the work. You know, we have empty retail spaces there and, and there's just no critical mass of retail there. So when people, opt to live there because it has access to mass transportation, what do they do when they come home? They walk down to their garage and then they drive around town to get their errands done. That does them a disservice, but it also does all of uh, Dublin a disservice. It's not particularly smart planning. But that's not gonna happen automatically. Uh, we have a free market here, so we are gonna have to work in collaboration with our Chamber of Commerce and Innovation Tri-Valley to attract the right kind of uh, businesses here. And lastly, I would say, uh, I want Dublin to be a place where if you live here, you can find a job here. And if you have a job here, you can find a place to live here. Thank, Thank you. you.